Hello. Uh, the purpose of this video is to try to tackle two uh, problems when dealing with spreadsheets. Um, one of the problems is trying to create relative data validations. Um, for people that are, have experience with spreadsheets and Google Sheets, uh, you know that it can be an issue when you're trying to pull from various data sources uh, and it only all the cells that you copy down refer to the same exact uh, cell and it's a little bit annoying and uh, it seems like there could be a simple solution and uh, so far I haven't really found a very simple solution but I found um, sort sort of a workaround and some other people also online have fi found uh, some other workarounds uh, and the second issue is creating uh, dynamic dependent uh, drop down menus uh, and so I've tried to combine the two together and into one I guess solution at least I've tried to. Um, I have to apologize for my inexperience with uh, JavaScript. I tried to do a little bit, but it's, I'm not really that familiar with the language. Um, so I'm pretty much uh, just kind of winging it here the best that I can. Uh, anyways, the reason why I had to do this design is because um, I originally did uh, a design that was very, very simple. Actually, I wouldn't even call it a design. It was just utilizing a Google, uh, I guess, or exploiting a Google bug. Uh, and so... They re since have since rewritten their code, and so now that exploit doesn't work anymore. So I've had to try some sort of, some sort of other avenue, and so this is my attempt here. Uh, feel free to copy this document and the script and play around with it. Uh, if you find a better way to design it, please share it with me, because um, I'd be interested in finding a, a better way to do it. Um, it is a bit convoluted at times, and it is a bit sensitive. So if you move columns around and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how the script works, it can be a little bit frustrating. Um, you can always recopy it, of course, and do it all over again, but for those that have more experience, um, I'd be definitely interested in any uh, amendments you have to this document. Uh, it would definitely help me in my in my work, uh, and hopefully everyone's. Um, anyways, so I'm going to start with how the uh, relative data validation uh, works. Uh, so if we over look over here on this uh, left side here of the screen, this is supposed to be the the array, I guess, that or the area, the window that has the data validation dropdowns. Currently, there are no data validations. You can, if you, if you know what dropdowns look like, you, there's usually like a little arrow here on the top right corner. Um, there is not one right now. I want to actually show you the process of creating the data validations. Uh, for column B here, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling some basic information um, from another sheet. So actually, it's this, this group reference sheet down here. And the information really is it's just a list of counties in California, uh, the cities within those counties, and the various zip codes. So, for example, in Alameda County, um, in the city of Alameda, there are three zip codes. And so, we want to go back to this group sheet. And if I click here, I want to be able to select Alameda County. And then, when I click here to the first city, it should have all the cities within Alameda County. And then, when I select one of those cities, all the zip codes within those cities should pop up. So that's that's those are these. Uh, dynamic dependent drop downs that we're trying to select. Okay, um, so this first column here, column B, or we're not going to use a relative, we're actually going to use a just traditional absolute uh, validation. So, what I'm going to do is actually um, over to the right, I pulled up uh, the other tab just so we can kind of see them work simultaneously so we can see how it works together. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, I'm going to go and highlight uh, column B, okay, other than the, other than the heading. Okay, I'm going to go all the way down. I only have 50 rows. Um, you could do more, but I'm going to be running some script, and all the iterations that are going to be running, I, I, I don't want them to. I don't want to take 10 minutes to run the iteration. So I just did this, um, you know, for the purpose of the video. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to uh, right click. I'm going to go down to data validation. This should be pretty standard for, well, for everybody. Um, I'm going to go click on lists from a range, and I'm going to click here. And I'm going to go down to Groups Reference. And what I want to do is I want to select everything that's inside here. So everything from A5 all the way down to the end, however many county uh, references there are. I'm going to click OK. And uh, I'm going to reject the input. You don't have to, but I'm going to do that anyways. I'm going to click Save. Okay. So I go back here. And now all of a sudden, everything here has a list of the counties that you can select. Okay. Now the problem is, let's say I select, um, I'll select Alameda County, and I also put some. Oh, I forgot to mention, I also put some conditional formatting in here as well. So if um, it's just set where anything is entered in this row, 
um, let's say I click another county here, um, the next, the adjacent cell will will pop, will um, turn yellow, saying this is the next entry point. Um, it's just kind of trying to show you the the logic of the document. So um, I'm going to go back up to here. Now, if I click here and I want to type something and I can't really, there's no drop down yet. So I have to create some sort of validation uh, for that. <clears throat> so actually, I'm going to show you how uh, I'm going to show you the kind of the quickest way. I over here on column E on this actually cell E1. I uh, I have this cell connected to a script. Um, actually, I'll show you what the script looks like before I click on the cell. I'm going to go up here off screen. Okay, so this is the script that I have. Um, it, like I said, it's a bit convoluted. There are some notes here to myself, but um, what it, it's going to do is it's going to run, essentially it's going to run a for loop and the for loop is going to go through each of these it's going to go through each of these rows here and create a validation. So for example if I wanted to pull data in this cell I'd have to go to data validation and say I want to go to row number two and then I would click save then I have to go down here and say data validation I'd like it to go to row three and I have to do that all the way down for for you know in this case 49 rows and that is a definitely a pain so what I did was I wrote a code here and I'll explain what this stuff on the side is in a minute um, so if I click on reset relative data val you'll see it start to go through all these iterations and it's kinda slow um, and you don't have to run it all the time you, you know you really only need to run it you know every if something goes wrong and you know you accidentally uh, you know put in the wrong data validation or something like that then you would need to run it other than that you don't really need to run it so um, <clears throat> and then the other reason this is pretty much the reason why I wanted to make it only um, only 50 rows and not like a thousand rows um, although you could do that you, you can just click it um, now when it's done running through everything it'll it'll pop up this little message that says data val complete you can leave it or you can erase it doesn't matter um, <clears throat> now, if I go back over here and I click on city, now all of a sudden, oh, all these cities within Alameda County start to populate. Well, you know, how did that work? Oh, and I'll, like I guess I'll get to that in a moment, which is this information right over here. So I'm going to click on, let's say, Alameda City, and then within Alameda City, there should be three zip codes like we discussed, and there they are, 01, 02, and uh, 22. Um, so... That's pretty much the data validation. No, that's the I'm sorry. That's the data validation, but I'm also exposing the um, dynamic dependent dropdowns as well. <clears throat> so um, now, how do these actual rows populate? Uh, and what I did was actually I'm going to erase this and kind of go back here. Uh, this right here is a list of. This is essentially the list of cities within this county. And so what this cell here is doing, it's it's pulling its the data, val data validation is set. Actually, if I go into and look at it, the data validation is set to look for cells F2 through GW2. So if I go over here, here's F2. And I scroll all the way across. I put a lot of columns here just in case you have a lot of items within a... There we go. All the way to GW, which is right here. So that's a lot. And, there, and if you actually look further, I should have stopped there. These are the data validations for the, the zip codes. Okay? Um, you can create more if you'd long, want or less, but you'd have to understand how the how, how the code works. Okay, so um, let me actually go to the the formula itself. It's a kind of a, it's a nested formula. It's got a, a lot of stuff. It's got a if error, transpose, sort, unique, filter. Essentially, what it, all it's doing is it's going back over here and saying, whenever you find the term Alameda, go into the column that says city and sort through and only bring out the items that have Alameda as the county. That's all. It's just a filter filter function. And the same thing over here. Um, when you go over, and as soon as you select city, see so you select Alameda in this case, it's going to say, all right, find over here, find all the cities that say Alameda, and then select all the zip codes within that city. So that's... Um, pretty much how that works. And so you could do this with anything. It doesn't have to be counties and cities and zip codes. It could be food items or, um, you know, SKUs uh, within a business. Um, so that's, that's really kind of up to you. Uh, but this here is kind of like the, this reference here is the master sheet as far as where the data comes from, or the, or the database. So you'd want, you could come in here and it's, you know, this is just, I could change this to whatever I want. I could type in Zorro. It doesn't really matter. Um, and if I do that, 
and then sure enough that'll pop up there's there's Zorro okay all right and so uh, now there's another thing I wanted to add I'm kind of get, getting a little out of order here but there's something else I wanted to uh, add uh, over here there's a question that you can um, you can approach if you'd like it says clear cells that violate data val uh, that just means that uh, sometimes it's say like I type in here I'm gonna type in zip code you know and it's just random gibberish or let's say I I select something for this column and this column and then I decide oh I don't want to have this county anymore I want a different county so I go to Fresno County well now all of a sudden this that information here and here and you just saw right there it disappeared well what happened um, this thing this is part of the the uh, code it's set to um, erase any thing that violates the data validation so if I type in Fresno and I type in the city and the zip code and then I change the county to a different county um, right now anything that violates the violates the data val is going to stay but if I go here and I say yes I want to clear any data right, this is kind of an extra bonus thing I was just thinking about doing um, you might not want to do this this does slow slow down things a little bit especially if you start running things down toward the bottom of the, um, the spreadsheet on the bottom rows because it has to go through every iteration um, to check for the information uh, and I don't know if you want to do that it's really up to you I wouldn't do it if it was a large document but um, you have the option to do so and then if I go here and I change it to a different county um, and then it, it all of a sudden erases it and it makes it fresh for you okay and so it works over here is why I could type anything I want um, and it'll just go and delete it anything that's not within that data validation will not only give you an error but also delete um, so uh, I guess that's about it on that end um, I thought about maybe explaining this how this works a little bit um, but I really I don't think it's necessary I think if you're trying to do something like this uh, on your own you probably already have a pretty good idea of how spreadsheets work and so if you'd like me to discuss this further as far as how the the uh, sorting and transposing functions are working um, I can do that but I really I think it's not that important so uh, anyways that is about it um, as far as the, the code goes like I said it might be a little bit too bulky uh, you th those experienced programmers out there might decide that uh, you want to take it and rewrite it uh, and so please please do so and uh, share with me the better version that you've created uh, if you could so uh, that's about it and any comments you have or suggestions for improvement please uh, let me know